Let's talk about a movie we've seen play out across the United States far too many times. That's another pillar of American industrial might falling and being sold to a foreign company. And this time it's jarring. It's U.S. Steel. Leadership has struck a deal worth nearly $15 billion in cash with Japanese-based Nippon Steel. U.S. Steel was founded in 1901 and is headquartered in the city of Pittsburgh. I grew up about an hour south of there in Westmoreland County. Making steel in that region is a large part of the identity, or I should say was. It gives people pride there. The hardworking men and women hang their hat on it and got to say for generations, I work at U.S. Steel. Our product helps build the nation. Our football team is called the Pittsburgh Steelers. It doesn't get any more steel than that. Well, at one point, U.S. Steel was the most valuable company on earth. Now I know uh, change is inevitable. But here's the issue I know so many people have with this. The steel industry is alive and well. It's not like it went defunct and it's not gone. But for some reason, this great American company fell behind and the people who depend on it, they will be the victims without a doubt. So what's the cause? Well, is it poor leadership? Is it a lack of innovation to compete? Government regulation? Well, Nippon Steel, maybe they made an offer that just couldn't be refused. Those are all likely factors. But this one, I can tell you it hurts and it's going to hurt the people there. Losing manufacturing over the decades, especially through the Rust Belt region, has stripped millions of Americans of their family's way of life. Towns in regions that are now shells of their former selves. Once the manufacturing leaves, the ancillary businesses, they just get by or they close. Families, they have to break up because the kids wind up having to move since there's not enough work there anymore. Enrollment at schools, it goes down. Some of those schools, they shudder. It's a domino effect. I've seen it firsthand, like so many of us have. Towns have to find a new way to reinvent themselves, and I can tell you it is not easy. We've already seen Bethlehem still go down on the opposite side of the state. In fact, I was actually there when they blew up the old headquarters, and I can tell you there were people in the crowd that were crying to see the symbolic end to it all. That's how much they cared about it. Now, in this case, U.S. Steel is only being sold. And according to their leadership and the Pond's leadership, all labor agreements they'll be kept. About 3,700 people are employed in the greater Pittsburgh area by U.S. Steel, but not everyone is convinced of that. Pennsylvania Senator Jim Brewster, he's one of them. He's a Democrat from McKeesport. He said, quote, I will fight any loss of one job. Well, PA State Senate Republican President Kim Ward said, they're being bought by a foreign entity is out of our hands. What we can do here in the state level and with our U.S. senators and congressmen is to fight to make sure they stay here. In fact, Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman says he's going to try and block the deal. Let's listen. I'm standing on the roof of my home right here in Braddock, Pennsylvania, right across the street from the Edgar Thompson plant. And I just have to say it's absolutely outrageous that they have sold themselves to a foreign nation and a company can't do that. Steel is always about security as well, too. And I am committed to doing anything I can do for using my platform or my position in order to block this. And I'm going to fight for the steel workers and their union way of life here as well, too. And we cannot ever allow them to be screwed over or left behind. I agree with Fetterman on this one. Again, we've seen this movie before, and it typically doesn't end well. However, I'll ask these questions. I think it's important. Why was the company with our name on it, the United States Steel Company, in such bad shape that it had to go out to auction? In an industry, steel, that is not going anywhere, and why did the Japanese company pass us up so greatly? Nippon Steel is the fourth largest steel producer in the world. Katrina, I think it's something we need to talk about here. Absolutely. I know big news. Lots of friends and family members that I have in Pittsburgh have been reaching out all day saying this is the talk of the town, literally, uh, and just really concerned about it. We're